Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called Rather Be by H-E-R. Okay, so here we go. Give you a preview of the two sections you can learn today's lesson. The first section is that um, intro uh, instrumental that also belongs to the verse instrumental at the back as well. Pretty nice. And then the second section is the chorus section. Both sections are awesome. Goes like this. Give you a preview. Okay, the intro instrumental goes like this. Check it out. It goes... Read that. Like that, okay? Okay, and then the other section, the uh, chorus section, goes like this. I like this section, it goes like this. Repeats. So let's get right into it. So learning the first section, that um, uh, intro and also the verse instrumental, goes like this, it's pretty simple. Right hand starts on the D sharp, middle C, go up an octave C, D sharp here. So it goes D sharp, down to F sharp, G sharp, up to D sharp, B, and then D sharp, B. That's it for the right hand for this first section. Let's do it again, so it goes like this. It goes D sharp, F sharp, G sharp, up to D sharp, B, D sharp, B. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have three chords here. The three chords are all four note chords. First chord is E major 7, which is E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Second chord is C sharp minor 7, which is C sharp, E, G sharp, B. And third chord is G sharp minor 7, which is G sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp. So with these three chords in mind, so E major 7, C sharp minor 7, and G sharp minor 7. So with these three chords in mind, Turn together goes like this, okay? So D sharp and E major 7 together. Up to B, C sharp minor 7 by itself. Up to B, G sharp minor 7 by itself. That's it. Let's do it again. So it goes like this. It goes together. Here. Here. One, two, three, four. And repeat that. Together. Here. Here. One, two, three, four. And there you have it. Easy stuff. You just repeat that and that makes the verse section as well. Okay. Moving on to the chorus section, okay, I like this motive here, so let's go ahead and break it up into, uh, let's see, about two parts, uh, three parts, okay, but don't worry because the first part is actually the same as the second part, the third part is just the ending uh, of it, okay, but anyways, here we go, right hand starts on the D sharp here, middle C, C, D sharp, so goes D sharp, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, two F sharps, G sharp, B, up to D sharp, down to B, down to G sharp, up to D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. That's it for the right hand for this section first part, okay? One more time, it goes like this. So D sharp, E for three times. Two, three, and two F sharps, G sharp, B, up to D sharp, B, G sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp, F sharp, G sharp, F sharp. And that's it for the right hand for this first part of this chorus section. Left hand, we have four chords here. The four chords are E major 7, it's the four note chord, E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Second chord is G sharp minor 7, which is G sharp, B, D sharp, F sharp. The third chord is B major 7, which is B, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp. And then the fourth chord is D sharp minor 7, which is fully black note chord, D sharp, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp. Okay, so with these four chords in mind, E major 7, G sharp minor, B major 7, and D sharp minor 7. Two hands together goes like this, right hand starts with the first two notes. Next D sharp and E major 7 together. D sharp and G sharp minor 7 together. After D sharp, B major 7 by itself. After F sharp, D sharp minor 7 by itself. Right hand continues. And you repeat that for the second time, that makes up the second part. Last part is just finishing off. Ryan goes down to B and the three C sharps, and D sharp, C sharp, B, and then down to G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Simple stuff. One more time it goes B, C sharp, C sharp, C sharp, D sharp, C sharp, B, G sharp. That's it for the right hand. Okay, once you get the right hand there, left hand is just one chord, it's either E major or E major 7. It doesn't matter which one you like, okay? It's just E, G sharp, B, D sharp. Okay, either this or this is fine. Okay, same thing. Two hands together goes like this. Right hand starts on the B, C sharp, and E major 7 together. 
Yeah, that's it. Depending on what sound you like, you can do with this as well. With the E major, we've got the seventh. And the major seventh. Okay, so either that or this. That's the third and last part. So back to back, all three parts of this chorus section will be played like this. Check it out, so it goes. That's it. So once you get all those sections uh, in this lesson correct, you can start to add other improvisations to it to make it more awesome. Left hand you can do like octave and arpeggio patterns and rhythmic patterns, and right hand you can harmonize it based on those chords too. So you can be like, you can be like. Like that. the other section, the chorus section, you can be like big as well, you can be like... Yeah, play around with it, it's pretty awesome stuff. That's pretty much it, so I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of videos like these for you to enjoy and learn from. So most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. But anyway, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, and a lot of other cool stuff. So make sure to check that out as well. Enjoy time on my channel and see you next time. Thanks for watching. For those who want to learn my methods on how to play any song by ear, grab the free preview of my book. Or just visit my website, bestpianomethod.com, for all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music, song requests, and services. All the links are in the description below. See you next time.